Hello, July. What is going on? I can't believe we're already halfway through the year. This is amazing, though. I feel like this year has been really transformative for everybody. And so this will be the messages for July for all the zodiac signs. You can go to each individual video, but make sure that you are also not only looking at your sun sign, which you probably already know what that is, but looking into your rising sign and your moon sign, because this is going to give you a little bit more of a personalized reading without having to get a personal reading. And, um, and that's going to help you as you go throughout the month, just some nice messages from your angels, your guides, your, your higher self. And then also I have weekly videos for all the zodiac signs that go I go into each individual sign as well and then I also have bonus readings and then daily lives that I do so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and sharing this with your friends because these are complimentary readings so why wouldn't you just share the fun and the wealth and also it really does just help the channel and get out get me out there into the lovely land of YouTube so I did pull some cards for the collective before we go into, in, into the individual sign. And I pulled from the uh, Beach Bounce Life, the Pure Ocean Heart deck. And the message is, just like the tides, everything ebbs and flows. So this is the message overall, is understanding that everything is ebbing and flowing, right? So you may feel like you are literally in the ebb and you're like, are we ever going to flow again? Are we going to have that wonderful, beautiful energy of things just flowing forward? Yes, everything's cyclical. You have to just always realize that and know that when you're at the bottom of the wheel of fortune, you will get back up to the top. And so in order to accomplish this for the month, I, from the Ocean Goddess deck, I pulled the buoyant card. So it's all about being buoyant, being in the flow with the universe and understanding, okay, you know, you're still in the water, you're still bobbing around, and you may not feel like things are flowing, but you're going to have a big rush of energy this month that's going to take you to the next place where you need to be and the next steps as you continue to develop and learn as we all do in life, no matter how old we are or how young we are. Um, but this is just saying, you know, don't force any situation this month. This is all about staying true to yourself. And if something feels good, go for it. If it doesn't, just take a step back and relax and listen to what your angels and guides and your inner self is saying for you to move forward. And then you're going to, you're going to know, okay, well, maybe things aren't flowing right now, but there's a reason why that, that has been blocked off and the, another floodgate's going to open up for you. So you just never know. So make sure that you are tuning into that as your mantra for the overall collective and we'll get into the readings bye all right sagittarius let's get into it so your overall mantra for this month from the pure ocean heart affirmation deck is cleanse your space and charge your crystals okay so whatever this means to you cleaning house sweeping mopping the floor if you have crystals charge them by all means in the sunshine charge those babies up you know it's going to help you um, raise your vibration and help bring in the the energies that you need as you go throughout this month to manifest what you want because i do see you know coming out of the gate this is really great i see a wonderful opportunity coming in with the knight of cups a job offer um interviews or any kind of emotional fulfillment is coming in invitation to take things to next level romantically etc with the moon card this is illuminated you can't fight the moonlight here okay and you're definitely like you need to make sure whatever you're doing you're not thinking about past decisions that you've made that have made you break your heart or someone else's heart because the past is the past for a reason and the universe is saying you need to trust and go within with the hermit energy and really focus in on trusting, letting go, letting God and trusting that every step will be illuminated as you keep going. Just keep taking a step forward, a step forward. It's going to somehow, some way transpire, okay? So you just need to let go of that past energy because the one thing that could trip you up is by carrying those burdens Either you're going to release the burdens and things are going to move forward swiftly for you this month, or you're going to continue to carry them. So the, I think you're going to be tested throughout the month. Are you going to, you know, let your hair down, have fun, and just put the past in the past in love and light and move forward with the chariot card with ease and grace? 
And actually with the Eight of Wands, this is these are both very fast moving cards and there's a lot of energy coming in. So I think it's also going to bring up some energy of maybe people from the past that are going to challenge you that, you know, okay, you had these victories, now what, you know? And you're standing there saying, okay, I need to, I need to draw these healthy boundaries to avoid any more conflict, okay? There's definitely a lot of energy coming in. I feel like this is more, I mean, this is more romantically in your personal relationships. I don't see a lot about business, at least monetarily, right? It still could be, you could transpose it to your career or your passions or a project that you're identifying with right now. I do see with the page of wands that there's a hot fiery message coming through that could tip you off and, and off your kilter and put you in some conflict. But remember your test this month is to be able to release these burdens with the 10 of wands. Okay. You need to release them, let them go. The chapters close time to start a new journey. Trust the universe. Okay. Because once you do that, you'll be able to let your hair down and have some fun. Okay. I also see that, you know, that's why clearing your space is going to be important because you want to get those old energies out that are no longer serving you, but they're sticking around, reminding you of what's going on, what, what the past is, um, things that had happened when they no longer serve you. You can't go back and change things. All we can do is be in the moment and forgive ourselves and forgive other people, right? And the full moon rising card popped out. That's amazing with the moon card. So yes, you can't hide the moon. Uh, you can't hide from the moonlight. You can't fight it, um, right? Especially with the with the <laughs> the five of wands. Don't fight the moonlight because it's going to come and bring and usher in new things and show you where you need to move forward and things that are no longer serving you in a way that it's toxic, right? So you've got to get rid of that because with the eight of wands energy, a ton of stuff's going to come in for you. Um, let's see. I also see romantically that gaining the courage to move things forward with somebody or to the next step is about to happen this month for you. There's some healing from the past that still needs to be done again with the three of swords. So whether this is on your cord or someone else that's around you, but do know that that can be eliminated just by forgiving yourself and forgiving the other person. Um, doing some meditation, some breath work to get that energy flowing and moving throughout your body. Also with the island spice, close your eyes and feel the warm, salty breeze. So yes, letting your hair down, having fun, feel the warm, salty breeze, feeling things unfold and transpire for you and letting things just really become apparent that when you're having fun and things are moving forward, that's when things are going to be effortless, right? But when you start thinking about things and being stuck in the past, you're literally gonna stick one foot in the past, one foot in the present, right? And so your future will won't unfold as easily because you only have two feet. <laughs> All right, so rock and roll. Let me know how this month transpires for you. Comment below and see you on the next wave. Bye.